want to show you how to grow great onions in your garden this year starting from seed. We are now in mid-March. That is a good time to get them started in a seed tray. I have a couple of varieties here that we grew on the farm that have uh, come out of storage and I'm very very excited to recommend Rosa di Milano. It's an all-star open pollinating variety, heirloom variety of, of onions. It is great. It's big, stores well, fabulous taste. This is an all-star open pollinating and I'm always encouraging you to use an open pollinator when possible. This here is a variety called Hamilton, an awesome variety. It's a hybrid. Um, I find that with the hybrids on the yellow onions, they just seem to perform better than the heirloom varieties such as Walla Walla. Having said that, Walla Walla does make a great onion and I'm going to seed that one up for you today over here. Start with a um, cart de decompartmentalized um, tray. I find that the 72 tray kind of does the trick for us here for most of our vegetable starts, but you can also use an open tray system where you scatter the seeds. Obviously, this is gonna give you a little more precision. Good soil, uh, that's all important. This is a product that we make here on the farm using our own compost, vermicompost, biochar, other trace minerals. Um, this will allow the onions to get off to a great start and usually provide them with enough nutrition up until transplant day. Sometimes, sometimes we need to give them a little bit of a boost. I'm going to form divots in all the cells. Not concerning myself too much with the exact depth. Onions are very forgiving and very easy to start from, from seed. So I have here Walla Walla. I'm gonna put three or four onion seeds per cell. Any more than that, and I'm gonna be crowding them too much. Any less than that, and we're wasting space. I'm gonna go right down, do all 72 cells. Then I'm gonna to top up. I'm going to give this a good soak, although this soil is actually quite moist already and it's hardly necessary, but it needs a, it needs a good soak here. So we're going to do that. And after that, I'm going to cover up with a dome. Now these are awesome. It's just amazing what this simple dome does. It creates a greenhouse effect, but also it allows the onions to stay moist continuously. Without the dome, they tend to dry out, which means they're going to water more often, which means they're going to leach out the nutrients. The dome is great. And this will stay on for about two weeks until they're maybe half inch out, out the uh, half inch uh, tall. And then we're going to take the dome off and harden them up, start to harden them off. So this could actually be done in an unheated greenhouse right now and find it just too early to start these outdoors or germinate them indoors. Uh, make sure you have a heat pad and good grow lights. Good grow lights are important. You won't be able to put this on the south facing window and, and expect that there's enough lighting. It's just simply not enough lighting for that. This will allow you to start great onions and you'll be transplanting these out in about seven, eight weeks, early May. That's a great time to transplant. Now, if you don't, if you choose not to transplant, you can also direct sow them right in the ground mid-April, early May, and you'll be surprised. You're not gonna get monstrous onions, but you're gonna get a nice size onion, maybe in, the, in, in this range over here. So no problem in, in direct seeding. It saves a lot of the hassle early on, and you'll get, you'll get great results. They just won't be as big as what you'd otherwise expect. So really, really simple procedure. Growing great onions um, is, is a must in your garden. And if you grow them in healthy soil, and you start them off well, you'll find that you have a healthier onion and a healthier onion is going to store a lot better than an onion that struggled throughout, throughout its, its life. Good luck growing onions.